Hey up YouTube, I'm Eric, thanks for clicking on the video, and I'm back again here with another Lunaverse quick explainer. In this video, I will of course be explaining why does Olivia Hay keep banging on that drum? Now if you do end up liking the video, please do leave a like, it really does help support the channel and makes it easier for others to find too. That being said, if you like what I do here and want to see more videos like this in the future, consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm of course breaking down the entire PTT music video, explaining what I can and connecting it to my Lunaverse timeline. But let's talk about Olivia Hay and this drum. As many of you have probably noticed throughout the PTT music video, Olivia Hay bangs on this drum. Many of you have even commented on my Everything You Missed video that she bangs on the drum exactly 12 times. The obvious connection here is that she bangs on the drum for each of the members of Luna. There are 12 members of Luna, so she bangs on the drum 12 times. So yeah, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. If only it were that easy. This is the Lunaverse after all. We can do better than that. Let's take the setting into account. She is in the temple in which, from this point onward, I'm going to be calling the Observatory. My reasoning behind that name is due to the very similarities to Stonehenge with the archways, the light coming through some of the archways. Yeah, if you didn't know, there have been many scientific studies, research, and theories that have made out Stonehenge to have actually been a type of ancient observatory. If you want to know more about Stonehenge being a type of observatory, I'll link to a short article created by NASA explaining some of it in the description. Back to the Lunaverse though, Olivia Hay is in the observatory where I've seen in many of Luna's music videos. The obvious ones being in the Eclipse and Butterfly music videos. But what if there was another observatory? One that is obviously in space and quite possibly on the moon. And so I give to you the observatory in the Hi Hi music video. Now what people might not notice in the scene is that Olivia Hay is just standing there in the center. But the members of Adai Circle are walking up on her as if they had just arrived. Now how did Olivia Hay get there? Basically she was lost in the dark forest after escaping Eden and trying to find the YYY members. The Odd Circle members, they are split from each other at this point, rallying the other girls, sensed Olivia Hay and told the Luna One Third member they were with to sing the spell of love, a sonatine, to save her. I believe that this spell sent Olivia Hay to the observatory where there was this drum and so she bangs on this drum to summon the Odd Eye Circle members, kind of like a doorbell. And then the Odd Circle members came walking in as shown in the Hi Hi music video, in which Olivia Hay tells them that all she wants is to be with the YY by Y members, now that she has more love than anger inside her. The girls of Odd Eye Circle sensed how much Olivia Hay had gone through agreed to teleport her close to them but on the condition that when she met with the YYYY members she must run with them when the moon was at its fullest to help start the transformation of the moon to the new moon. Olivia Hay agreed and the was teleported back into the dark forest but closer to where the other members of YYYY were. But of course this is just my interpretation of why Olivia Hay banks on the drum for my Luniverse timeline. That's all I have for today. If you liked the video please do leave a like it really does help support the channel and allows other theories to find the video too. If you like what I do here and you want to see more videos like this in the future, hit the subscribe button. I'm of course breaking down the entire music video, explaining what I can and connecting it to my Luniverse timeline. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Later.